Hello, my name is Ibrahim Kone. I am the Secretary of Treasury of SEIU Local 26. I know some of you may be at work, you may be at home. I just want to pass this message along. Uh, SEIU Local 26 and the janitorial companies enter into bargaining and reaching agreement. Before I give you a detail of the bargaining, I just want to tell you where the union stands on COVID vaccination. The union position has been and always been that our members should have a choice in what to put in their body. The companies came to bargaining with that same approach. So no janitorial company is allowed to make vaccine mandatory on their own. No janitorial company is allowed to make vaccine mandatory on their own. Now, here is the catch, and I want you to hear me. If the client at your work site is making vaccine mandatory, only if the client at your work site is making the vaccine mandatory, then your employer should give you and the union 45 days notice. We do understand in some situations that the client give less notice to your employer. And if that happens, your employer will work with you to try to find a temporary assignment. You can also use any and use vacation and sick time while you're waiting to get vaccinated and go back to work. The second agreement that we reach is around religious and medical accommodation. Your employer is willing to work with you to accommodate your medical and religious needs. They can offer, for example, that you wear mask, change your break time or your start time. They can even try to change your shift if that's a possibility. Now, we understand in some situations that will not work. And if that's the case, then they will try to send you to a location where there's no vaccine requirement. The third agreement is that we understand that some of our members are unwilling to get vaccinated. If that happens, we want the company to give them 45 days to comply. So, if the members are unwilling to get vaccinated between the 45 days time period and go back to work, that member or those members will be placed on the layoff list. If a member get vaccinated between the 45 days time and there is an open position at his old building that member can go back to that open position 
only if there is an open position. A member cannot bump another member to take their position after they leave. No bumping is allowed. We understand that in some buildings, the client may give some incentive. If they do, we want your employer to give that to our members. We also know that there are some policies like OSHA or policy from the government, for example, that are coming. So when those policies pass, the company is allowed to apply those policies. Employee can use accrued time off or sick time off if they wanna go get vaccinated. The last thing that we want Anybody who are quarantined or got sick after COVID vaccination, they can still accrue time off. So this is the update I wanted to pass along to you. I hope you have a great weekend. My name is Brahim Kone, Secretary of Treasury of Local 26. Thank you.